Yo. Where? Here. What's up, big bro? What's up hey, with you, little bro? Ain't too much. Ain't too yes, much. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. All right, we we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Let the people know who we got in the building. It's your boy Shank Rock representing that million dollar click with Big Lou out of Rattle Ranch and DJ Royal Antoine from HMP Radio in the building. Right, right. Salute, salute, man. So how long you been uh, doing the music thing? Oh, uh, bro, I've been putting it down since the 80s. You know, they call me prehistoric time. I've been putting it down since the 80s. Um, Back in the late 90s, mid-2000, you know, I was doing my thing on the Baltimore scene. You know, I'm sure everybody remembers Shank Rock, the baby mama hitter. And then, you know, I just took a little lead of absent, you know, to deal with a lot of family issues, you know, I became a dad and, you know, so I had to deal with some family issues. So, you know, I put it down for a second, but in the new 2020, 2021, I'm back. Right, right, right. I definitely salute that. I see you got a lot of tracks, man. You actually got a, you even got a track with Boosie. Tell me how that came about. Oh, bro, that was like, it was so, so major and so exciting to me. So what I done was the, the, the actual song, The Million Dollar Thing, that was a song from like 2005, 2006. So, you know, um, I went on and I reamped it. And I was like, you know what? I think Bootsy a fit perfect on it. So my people reached out to his people and he blessed us with a fire verse you know, on the million dollar thing, man. So make sure everybody go check out the million dollar thing video on my YouTube channel, as well as download the million dollar thing song on all digital music platforms under Shake Rock. Right, right, right. Definitely. Now, one song that stood out to me, you was talking about like the young dudes and the old heads and like the disconnect. And that's a dope song because I be feeling the same kind of way. Tell me how you feel about that bit, bro. All right. I'm not disrespecting nobody younger than me. I'm not throwing no shade on nobody younger than me because even you, bro, to somebody, you are old head. You know what I mean? We all are old heads to somebody. So basically, when I thought of the song, I right. kind of like was trying to bridge the gap between the old head and the young head. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, no disrespect to the young cats. You know, y'all music, keep making the music that y'all making and everything. But it's just me trying to bridge that gap. Like saying, like, if you notice in the beginning of the song, before the song come on, I'll be like, you know what I mean? I ain't trying beef with you. I'm trying to get money with you. So, you know, the old heads is just letting the young heads know, man, look, we could do this thing together. Right. And along with getting this money, then what we could do is we could build up our communities because that's what it's really about, you know, building up our communities. Right, right. Facts, facts. So how you feel about, like, what's going on in the city right now? I know last time I went home a few months ago, it's a lot of gangs. And, you know, Back in the day, we had like blocks and stuff like that, but it wasn't that many gangs. How you feel about that? You know, it, it, it's, it's kind of upsetting to me, you know, to really see, you know, the city and the turmoil that it's been in. You know, once again, I'm not here to disrespect the young folks. I'm not here to throw shade on them. But, you know, in Baltimore, in the beginning of the drug game, as you said, it was just blocks. And it was all about getting that paper. You know, the gangs was a L.A. thing. The gangs was a Chicago thing. But even during those times, it was all organized. But, you know, now to see Baltimore, you know, tripping, to see Baltimore, you know, doing the blood thing and these other, you know, gang sets is kind of disturbing because even the original founders, the OGs of those sets and those gangs, they're trying to stop it. 
because they realize, you know, what that gang life and what gang activity does to the whole community as well as the world. Right, right. I definitely agree with that. I think it's definitely a disconnection between the older generation and the younger generation because I'm 34. I just turned 34, so I'm like right there in the middle. And like when I talk to my little when I talk to my little cousins and them, they feel like, well, y'all don't know what's going on right now. Like for right. that, like then we talking about right now. But then when I talk to the older guys, they like ain't nothing new under the sun. So it's like everybody fighting to prove what just, but it really ain't even about all that. It's really like you said about building the community. But another thing I wanted to touch on, what you feel about like the political parties in the city, like the mayors and stuff like that, all the vacant houses, all we got going on, money ain't going into the schools and stuff like that. I think, I think, you know, the new mayor, you know, I want to salute the new mayor, the young guy. I think, I believe that he's going to make a difference. Um, he got his head on correct. He's saying, you know, some nice things. But what I want to say is to the people, give them a chance and also help the brother. Because me and you both know one man, one woman can't do it alone. And a lot of times, you know, from my experiences and my understanding, we expect the police department, we expect, we expect the president, we expect the political people in power to make these changes on their own. But it's an old African proverb. It takes a village to raise one child. So what we have to do is the people, the citizens of Baltimore City, we have to get in and we have to help this new elected mayor to make these changes and do right by our city and uplift our communities. Right, right, right. I definitely agree with you on that. So what you think, like far as the violence and stuff like that, do you think, I was uh, talking to a young rapper the other day, and he said he don't think it'll never stop. But in my mind, I don't want to feel like that because I want to have hope, you feel me? I think the city need for the violence to stop. You think we just need some money in the city, more people getting on? What's your opinion? Right there what you just said. More people need to get on. More people that's doing their thing, more people that got their own business like yourself, more people like myself, that got our own business going on, we need for the people to help us build up our businesses. Because one thing about me and you, we've been there. We've been on the other side of the fence. So we know what it's like. And also, we know what it's going to take. And not only that, we don't have a problem with reaching back to our right. community. You know what I mean? Right. To uplift and bring up our community. But bruh, no matter how much me and you drop these jewels, no matter how much me and you get out in the community and you know do our thing with uplifting the community, if the people in the community, meaning everybody that's watching this podcast, everybody that's watching this demonstration, if y'all don't get involved and help me and Tony two times and help the mayor and help the other you know people that's in the community trying to make a change, then our community is going to still be destroyed. So I understand where the young brother was coming from when he said that he don't think it's going to ever change, it's going to ever get better. But, bruh, you're going to get older one day. You're going to be a Tony Two-Time X. You're going to be a Shank Rock. And then you're going to see the bigger picture. But what I say to you is, young brother, listen to these demonstrations that brother Tony 2X is dropping. Get up under him and get some knowledge from the brother. Because I salute you, brother Tony 2X. I think you're doing a magnificent job. So for the young brother, get up under him and help. See, what we have to do as a people right now, man, we gotta help. We gotta put aside all our differences. We gotta put aside the negative energy, the negative thoughts, and we gotta help one another, right. man. Or as the young brother said, it won't get no better.
And like, it hurt my feelings when I went back home. Cause like, just to see the look in my little cousin's eyes and that look of hopelessness, it's like, it's sad. And I kind of felt bad for leaving the city. And I know you moved as well. And last year, 635,000 people moved from Baltimore. Do you think that's the right approach? Or you leave, you go get focused, do what you got to do, then you bring it back home. So tell me how you look at it. I think, I think that we have an obligation. And I know it's hard, you know, because, you know, we are our worstest enemy. And as soon as a brother or sister get on and they try to come back, you know, it's just seen for some strange reason, somebody in our own community is the ones that always bring us down. You know, same situation with Nipsey Hussle. But it's, it's gonna be hard. Right. What we have to look at it like this, how come every other race, how come every other nationality, and it's no disrespect to the other nationalities and the other group of people, but how come is it that they can come to the hood, they can come to our community and get rich. They'll take a chance. They'll take a chance and open up shop, open up stores in our community. They'll take that chance. But our people in our own communities won't bring no harm to the other nationalities and the other groups of people that's coming in and setting up shop. So for my people, when a brother or sister comes back to Baltimore City and open up shop, you know, got their own business established and everything, bruh, sis, y'all can't hate on them. Bruh, sis, y'all can't try to destroy them. Bruh, sister, y'all have to support them the same way that y'all support the other nationalities and the other group of people. So to answer your question, I feel like we, do you have an obligation to come back to our hoods and build up our hoods? But the people in our hoods and our communities have to support and have to help one another. Right, right, right. I definitely agree with you on that. Now, as far as the music scene and everything that's going on in the city, we got Lil X. We got Wine Sosa. We got Band Hunter. It's a lot of people that's getting a light shed on them. Like back in the day, we had Tim Trees, Boss Man, people like yourself. What you about the music scene now? I feel like we got, we just got to, like you said, we got to help each other, link up with each other, and stop hating each other. Right, you said it best. Um, Pretty much everybody is doing their thing. You know, everybody is making good music. Bring it together. Bridge it together. When you look at the other states and the other cities, one thing about the brothers and sisters that's down in Atlanta, they support each other. And the reason why they support each other, they don't look at it as a competition. They don't look at it as competition. They look at it on a business perspective. So they look at it like this. If I help and if I support this rapper, if I empower 2 Chain, if I support T.I., if I support all of these rappers, then these rappers are going to make money. And when these rappers make money, these rappers are going to bring some of that money back to Atlanta. They're going to bring money back to the hood and put money back in the hood. So for my Baltimore rappers, my Baltimore folks, keep doing y'all thing. But once again, like I said, it's going to be the community that has to get in and has to support these rappers. Don't expect these rappers to go to New York, Atlanta, or L.A. to get famous. Make these rappers famous right here in Baltimore City. Right. Just think, and I'm talking to everybody that's listening, just think. How much money a day do you blow? How much money a day do you just give away? 20, 30, 40, maybe 60, 70 dollars. So just look at it like this. If I take this $10 and if I spend $10 
on this up and coming rapper merchandise. Whether he got shirts, whether he got socks, whether he got hoodies, regardless of what it is that he's selling. If I spend $10, if I spend $20 on this up and coming rapper, one day this up and coming rapper is gonna be famous. One day this up and coming rapper is gonna be making millions and millions of dollars. So what this rapper will do is, this rapper will bring that money back to Baltimore City. It's what everybody do all around. When you look at all the different rappers from the different cities, they put each other on. And they do what when they put each other on? They bring that money back to their hoods, back to their communities. I know Baltimore City, I know we can do it. I know we can do it. I know we can get together and start supporting these up and coming rappers as well as these business owners. Right, right. I definitely agree with you on that. So, well, a few more things I got for you to get out of here. What would you tell a little kid that's looking up to these rappers or that's walking outside, walking to school, might live in Highland Town or something like that, saying everything every day? What would you tell them to stay focused on the right thing and to do what they got to do to make it out and to be one of these people that build up the community? For the kids, two things. Stay in school, get your education. Don't listen to nobody telling you not to go to school and get your education. And then number two, for the kids that's looking at the rappers, y'all have to understand that it's just music. And even though nowadays, a lot of the rappers are actually in the streets committing all kind of crimes, you know, to be certified. But as a young child, you have to understand the stuff that the rappers rap about, there's no future in it. Because there's two places that the rappers is gonna end up. And we see that all the time nowadays. The rappers that's rapping that stuff and promoting that stuff and actually living that lifestyle, they're gonna end up in the penitentiary and they're gonna end up in the cemetery. Now, you can just check in with anybody that's doing time in the penitentiary. And anybody that's doing time in the penitentiary, they're gonna tell you the same things that I'm telling you. So don't wait until you go to the penitentiary to pay attention to what somebody is telling you. I'm begging you, stay in school. It's okay to listen to the rappers. It's okay to listen to them. But if they promote in street life, you have to know the differences. You have to know, okay, even though I'm listening to him, that's not a road that I want to go down. Because a lot of the rappers, they really not glorifying it. Some of them are. But a lot of the rappers, they're just painting their story so the little kids won't end up going down the wrong road that they went down, such as yourself, Tony, two times. And that's why I really, man, I salute you because your videos, your videos, some people might overlook the actual message in your videos, but you have some strong messages in your video. Right. And you're basically letting the young kids know, man, look, you see what happened to this person. You see what happened to that person. Mm -hmm. That's another route that you could take in life. Mm -hmm. Right, right, definitely. I appreciate that, big bro. That means a lot. But tell the people before we get out of here, man. Tell the people where they can find you, at, what you got going on, and leave them with a message. All right. So I have a lot of different things going on. Um, right now we have. Well, let me say we, because it's not just me. You know, I belong to a group, and it's the Million Dollar Thing Clip. So right now, what we're doing is we have an artist by the name of Eldorado Reg. He done a song with Mariah Lynn from Love of Hip Hop. So I need everybody to go to Eldorado Reg Spotify and download his song with Mariah Lynn from Love of Hip Hop. Also Eldorado Reg as a video game, all right? Then my other artist, Big Lou, Big Lou has probably about a good five, six, seven singles that he's pushing right now. The famous, the one that you was talking about, the old niggas, 
that's getting a lot, a lot of publicity from right now. We got major acts such as Jada that's trying to tap in on this song and everything. So if everybody can go to Big Lou Spotify and download all his music, we really would appreciate it. Then, of course, we have the Million Dollar Thing line. That's the shirts. As y'all can see, I'm wearing one of the shirts. But the Million Dollar Thing shirts come in all kind of colors. If you see a color that you like, please hit us up and let us know, and we'll make sure we get y'all that shirt. We have the Million Dollar Thing song and the Million Dollar Thing with Boosie in it. That's on my YouTube channel. And how can everybody follow me? You can follow me on IG, Shank Rock underscore 1218. Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shank Rock. And I have tons of videos, music videos. I have tons of work. And I also forgot to plug the movie that we done, the OG Like Me, starring from The Wire, Trey Chaney. Right. right, man. That's what it is, man, bro, man. I definitely appreciate you for taking time out to talk to me, man. And you know we locked in, man, but I ain't going to hold you much longer, man. And I appreciate you for the interview, man. And we're going to get it out here to the people. All right, and I appreciate you, bro. Salute. Man, I'm a cool nigga till you hit that switch. I feel weak and fight and I don't let that pistol rip. Man, I'm easy certified. You can check my case. I got a couple old niggas that will love the erasure. I don't do much. I just move and get dope, boy. Me they nothing, so I feel like it's your choice. <laughs> My young girl love me cause I'll fuck like no old nigga See this old man, he get ones Beat the pussy up, make them bitches come This old man, he keep guns Ready to tag team, don't give a fuck where you from This old man, he get ones Beat the pussy up, make them bitches come This old man, he keep guns Ready to tag team, don't give a fuck where you from Thank you.